Hello everyone, and welcome to Beachy's Pets channel. <clears throat> Sorry, did I scare you, little girl? <laughs> yeah, okay, just let me get that out of the way. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about rat haters and reasons why people don't like rats and reasons why and I and at least one reason why each of those is a very bad reason okay first off is the reason that is the reason that says that rats tails are weird or gross they oh she like freaked out when i said gross she's like what say what yeah your tail is beautiful little girl it's beautiful <laughs> their tails people say my rat's tail is dirty because it's brown no rat's tails they actually have very small amounts of hair on their tail so that's why their tails are like brown like a brown color and they're like yeah but it has like pink spots in it <laughs> little girl well look i don't know if i can get a good picture of it but the tails they have pink specks in there because there are pieces that do not have that much hair like do you see like little um pink or white spots in her tail she does she she has um like small smaller amounts of hair in that spot because either it hasn't grown out that well yet because she's still just a baby so like of course not all her hair is going to be grown in not all of her color is going to be grown in because her older sister has more color, like white, on her tummy than Hershey. Just because she's younger, so she doesn't have her colors yet. Like, some rats, when they're babies, they'll be all, like, light chocolate brown. And then they'll get older, and they'll have, like, I don't know, white in their fur or something. You know? It just depends on the rat. And its genetics and its parents. Okay, and another thing that people say is gross about rats. Let's take a visit to Hershey. They say, hold on, one moment. Sorry. If I zoom out, it like, you can't hear me. It like gets blurry. So I just like to fix that. Another thing they say is that they say just the way that they have. be like, ew, why does this good creature around? And rats are adorable, and other people say that they just don't like people, some rats do. But it's just about the rat you get. Like, if you don't like one rat, there's obviously another rat out there for you. Hi, Hershey. Hi, baby. You want a Cheerio? Hey, baby. They always go in there to eat. Sorry, there's like a hole in the care fresh. Yeah. There's obviously another rat out there for you. If there's not one rat you want, then there's obviously another one out there. These were the perfect girls for me. Hi. Hey, Hersey. Oh, she was going to climb on me, but I ruined it. <laughs> oh, you're going to climb on me? Yeah, so... It's all about genetics and stuff. And another... This is so common that people say. They say... What did they say? What did they say? What did they say? Rats smell really bad. Rats do not smell. In fact, this may sound creepy, but I think they smell good. 
You smell good. I'm sorry. You just like. Smell really good. <laughs> yeah. They, you, cause a lot of people imagine bad smells. Cause you know, what people used to do is that they thought that, they thought that they had cancer and then they would actually get cancer. That's kind of weird, but it's true. Look it up in Wikipedia. And another common thing that people say, oh, this is so common. They carry so many diseases. I don't want to get sick. First of all, the common house dog carries more diseases than a common rat. Like a domestic rat. That's like saying that you hate dogs too. Because rats are cleaner than dogs. You know rats are actually as clean as cats. Just because they can get tumors and cancer doesn't mean that they have diseases. We get tumor and cancer too. Does that mean we carry diseases? Exactly. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Sorry for being short and bye.